What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. Um, I just got home from work. Have no idea what's going on with the market. Um, I have a ton of stubs and I'm ready to pop some packs. So let's just see who got roster updated, who went up. Um, let's check it out. Stub sale is out, guys. I'll have a market video on, uh, for you guys tomorrow. Um, actually, we're going to be posting some Madden vids because I actually got really good feedback on it. I know some of you guys don't want to see Madden vids, but um, I have some Madden subs. I have a lot of people that play Madden on my uh, on me, so let's just hope. So, Ryu went diamond, Granky went diamond. That's really all we really care about. And Arnado went down, Kenta Marte went up, Bumgarner went up, Bieber went up. That's really it. Um, let's get in to see who's on the packs. I just got home. I have no idea what's going on. Um, let's check it though. We got a pack opening. Ooh, guess what we're doing. So we got two of these. Um, <laughs> we got big boy packs coming your way. We got the headliners and everything. Who we got? Evan Longoria and a Troy. Don't know how to say his name. Uh, we got anything new in these? Nothing new? That's pretty weird. All right. So whatever. We're going to drop a ton of stubs on packs. Let's hope we pull at least one diamond. Something worth it. Um, wow. Let's get it, baby. Your boy boys got packs. We're going to do a little market talk in this vid as well. Because as you can see, a lot of these packs are um, short. They're not a big bundle. So let's get it. First headliner pack. And it is a silver and we get Rossi on Glaciers. He did not even he didn't even get traded. We got next headliner pack. And we get a gold. Oh my goodness. We don't we don't want to see golds, bro. Your boy Bugs does not want to see golds, baby. Um guys, if you're watching this, drop whatever you want in the comments. Like the vid so if you were new, 50 likes. Actually, 75 likes on the vid, 10k in the comments. Uh whatever you want. Random comments will win if the vid hits 75 likes. We've done it many times. Um I'm just hyped, man. We just hit 1,400 subs. Thank you guys so much for getting me to 1,400. We're searching for 2,000 soon, baby. On the road to 1,500. Let's see. Wow, these headliner packs are doing me dirty. We got to pull something in the next one. Oh, wow. Okay. So, clearly... All right. Ah, we didn't even get... The, oh, all right. This is a bad sign, you know? This is bad. All right. We'll take Kinsler. Holy crap. All right, last pack of the day. All right, okay, that makes up a little bit. We got a pretty decent one right here. I'm going to go uh, Hanley. Let's go Hanley. All right, so we lost about, what, 50K? It's whatever because all my investments will make up for it. So, um, with that said, those packs were decent. I guess. I mean, I didn't really make stubs, but uh, we lost about 50k, but it's okay. Let's get into some market talk a little bit. So they dropped the stub sale. Not expected. Oh, not expected at all, actually. It's kind of upsetting, but what I'm noticing is, honestly, when all those packs dropped, it really, the market didn't go down too much. It went down definitely. 100% went down. But the fact that it didn't go down as much as we thought it would, I mean, wait, I don't know. Okay, hold, my bad. It did not go down. It went up. But the signature players went down. So that's good because I told you to sell the signature players. Um, it's not bad. Sold the signature players. Um, so they did go down. But everything else seems to have went up because it is stub sale. Let's look at some live players. Um, let's look at Granky, for instance. Let's see. So, Rizzo, Story, Story went down. Like I said, if you sold him, you made stubs. I didn't think he would go down, but he was at, what, 35 yesterday? Um, if you listen to me, you made a ton of stubs. You can buy him back for cheaper now. So, we got Nola at 1,900. He should go down in next roster update. Uh, let's check it. Let's check it. So, yeah, a lot of players did go down, especially this Jose Ramirez. I'll probably pick up a ton of him. Um, let's see what we're working with here. Where the hell is Granky? Oh, my God, he's diamond. I'm so dumb. Zach. Zach Granke, 5,100, and look at that. He is on the Astros now. The Astros are they're really looking at a World Series, man. So I'm going to go ahead and sell all of them. Actually, I might as well just go quick sell all six. We made a ton of stubs of all of them, got all of them for 2K. Made, we're going to make about 3K profit off each. Three times six, 18,000 stubs made off the Granke. Guys, if you listen to me, you won. 
Um, let's see. Let's check Rai. Ooh, he's probably expensive, man. He's playing his balls off, man. Uh, Harper did go up. So, yes, a lot of players did go up. If you want to sell now, you could go ahead and sell. I have no problem with selling your players now. Um, just signature cards, you could hold on to them because they're out of packs. They're going to be out probably next week sometime. You could hold on. You could probably pick up a bunch of players, especially with the stub sale going on. You could probably pick up a ton of them for really cheap right now and make a ton of stubs. So keep that in mind. So think about it. Um, the stub sale is out. The packs are limited to each. If the packs are limited to each and the stub sale is out, everyone pops the packs. What happens to those players? They go up in value. So investing now in those SIG, pack, SIG players are not a bad idea. Well, players I would invest in right now. For signature series wise, I would say George Brett. I would say Gary Carter if you get him for 94. I would say Votto if you get him for 37. Only if you get him for the sell now. Only. I mean, only. You cannot buy him out. You will not make stubs that way. Oh, crap. We didn't sell Pedroyosh. Actually, no. He did go up. And he's in my. Okay, that's, that's annoying. So. We just got, um, who did we get in that pack? George Brett. So I will be holding on to him. Just hold on to your sick players. There's a lot of a lot of demand for them right now. I mean, a high supply right now. Not a lot of demand. So just keep that in mind. You just want to make a ton of stubs of what I'm saying right now. Um, let's see. We got this dude. I don't even know when he got in the game. I actually want to check some of the all-star players. See if they went up a little bit. Ooh, a 96 Corey Posada. That is gorgeous. So Evan Longoria is sitting at 63K, the new 96. It's like, I mean, if they're dropping 96 in headlighters, like, I I don't really... I pop them just because, but, like, I feel like it's not even worth popping them because I haven't pulled a limited one since Wade Boggs. Wow, Pete Alonso is 17K. So he actually dropped, like, 7K, which is kind of confusing considering he's not in packs and considering that the stub sale's out. So that is confusing. Right now, the market's really weird. I, I don't know what's going on. McCann did go up about 5K. Jack Morris is dirt cheap. Fox went up even more. So some players did go down a lot, and some players really went up. Kind of confusing considering, um, especially the Pete Alonso. That one is really confusing. I don't think they're in packs. Travis Hafner went up. Votto is actually went down. I sold him for forty four thousand yesterday. Where did I sell him? Right here. Oh no. Oh crap. We got. Oh, we got him for forty two nine. He went up. Right, that's good. Um, my Joey Gallo sold for forty three seven yesterday. So he went down too. But there's no all star impact. So if someone would like to explain that to me, that would be nice. Um, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. Christian Yelich did get upgraded. I think no, he did not get upgraded. But he's up a lot. A lot of the live series players have uh, went up a ton. So that's good news for once. Uh, I would like to check Chris Sale's price because I do have him on the squib. On a squib. Let's see. Chris Sale over here. We got 36K. He did not go up or down. So with this being said, I am just confused with what they're trying to do. MLB is very confusing right now. Um, what I would do is pick up a ton of all-star players because they're so cheap. What I would do is pick up some SIG cards, sell your live series cards while they're high, pick up some SIG cards, invest. The SIG cards are not out right now. So, I mean, the SIG cards are out and the stub sale is out. So what that means is they're just going to go up, simply go up, even with the stub sale going on, they're going to go up, believe me. Um, highly recommend you pick up some. This Reggie Jackson is crazy, big Reggie Jackson fan. He's a beast. But yeah, so all the players that are in signature series packs... I would highly recommend go buying them, uh, especially the cheap ones. Like Keith Hernandez for 10K is definitely a buy. Um, all the, I would say the 94s and 95s, all the lower overall ones are definitely good buys, especially for people who have lower amount of stubs. I would try to stay away from like Bob Feller. He's too expensive to read. Um, like let's look at Keith Hernandez quick. He's really cheap right now. Let's see. Oh, I spelt his name wrong because I'm an idiot. Uh, let's see. Keith Hernandez, 12-4. So, good buy right here. If you could pick up a ton, it's a 96 overall. Remember that. For 10500 very, very good buy. Very good waiting price. I'm going to try to pick up at least two. I'm going to pick up some Ozzy Smiths. I got the Ian Kinsler. So, definitely wait on the SIG, SIG cards. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Drop the likes so if you're new. That's all I really got. Have a good one. Peace.